an off duty cop kills the good Samaritan at the scene. It's a damn shame. Let's put up the picture of the man full mass. This is so sad, out of Pennsylvania. His family and the attorney, they are demanding answers. That is 48 year old Kenneth Vineyard. His family wants justice following his death at the hands of an off duty cop from November 9th. Let me give you the background, Mr. Mr. Vineyard was killed after helping a 20 year old shooting victim, Rashawn Smith, who had been shot in the abdomen by another man in the parking lot of a Walmart, okay? He's a good Samaritan, he's a good guy. Once paramedics arrived, Vineyard stepped away to allow them to do their job. But then a man in plain clothes demanded Vineyard step away from the victim. The 48 year old tried to explain to the unidentified plain clothes man that he was simply trying to help make his way to his fiance who was nearby. The unidentified man insisted Mr. Vineyard step away and violently pushed Mr. Vineyard to the ground where he struck his head on the pavement. He died, okay? The family's attorney, uh, Joel Sansoni, said after talking with eyewitnesses, they've come to learn. Vineyard wasn't pushed by the officer, he was tackled. He says he was thrown to the ground and the officer landed on top of him. He had no pulse. Let's put up the scene here, all right? It's chaotic, was caught with what looks to be a camera phone. He had no pulse, so his fiance and the first responders attempted to provide him aid. He was rushed to the hospital, he died from his injuries. He was a good Samaritan, he was a good Samaritan. And here comes a cop who decides to not be an investigator, to not be a public servant, to not be what he's certified to be. You know what a cop is certified to be? Look at their certification document. It doesn't say police, it doesn't say cop, it says peace officer. They are certified peace officers. Marcy Beatty, who's the fiance, okay? Obviously, shocking and horrific, said he was a huge police supporter. Had best friends that were cops and they are now all upset and outraged about what happened. The attorney will learn the aggressor was an off duty township officer, okay? The preliminary autopsy report reveals clearly that the cause of death was because of the cop. They have now ordered a secondary autopsy. The report is expected very soon. So now while San Sony can't reveal the name of the cop, he claims because of the death of Mr. Vineyard. He says at some point it will come out, no one will be surprised. Isn't that something? No one will be surprised. The attorney says his office got confirmation from law enforcement within the community that this officer has had many problems in the past involving police misconduct. As we preach continually right here, you gotta get rid of the bad officers. They are bankrupting your city, bankrupting your county, and they're bankrupting the moral trust that's required between community and cop for the thing to function properly. But you want to protect them at your own peril. While state police are investigating, let's put them up. Uh, there are no answers as to what happened to the officer. Beaver County DA, David Lazier, said his office can't comment on the state police investigation. And Center Township Police Chief Barry Carmer says he, he merely offered uh, thoughts and prayers, all right? So that's it. Investigation ongoing. Here we go again, here we go again, back the blue. No, 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 you back the blue when they're right. You don't back the blue because they got on a blue shirt. The hell are you talking about? They're wrong here. But it seems as if still the wheels of justice are not turning in the right direction, even though this is a clear cut case of a plain clothes cat killing a man on his day off. All right, Jeff thoughts here. 
We've seen similar situations with good Samaritans who happen to have a weapon in order to stop an assailant from doing something. And the cops haven't, they don't have the ability to notice who is and is not the good guy or the bad guy in those situations. This man didn't even have a weapon. Right. So when it comes to them being peace officers, I'm really struggling to figure out and find out what they're doing to maintain the peace in these situations. Because in this situation right here, this one in particular, Seems like this guy definitely made things much worse for everybody involved. And hopefully, justice will prevail and things will get worse for this individual. He shouldn't be in the force anymore. Move on, bring somebody else there. Yeah, he needs to be arrested. He needs to go to jail. His actions led to the death of another person and they were unprovoked. He was not on duty. He has to go to jail. This needs to be prosecuted.